page on here. So I'm just going to play through the link you just heard slowly once. And then if you want the tabs, you have that available on my Patreon. You have the link in the description. After that, I'm going to talk a little bit about the importance of learning scales and how that can speed up your overall learning on the guitar. So, sorry on the 15th fret. Alright, so if I play something like this, right, so if you want to learn this and you don't know the scale and you don't know the sequence, it's going to be basically what I call guitar bingo, because you're going to sit there and go, okay, 17, 20, 19, 17, 15, 19, 17, and as you can hear, it's a complete mess trying to learn things that way. Uh, if you know the scale and the sequence, two things, you can play the entire thing uh, pretty much right away. If your technique is up for it, that is. So if you would learn the scale, it's not that hard. And as Frank and Bali once said, you know, it's not that hard to learn an egg. It's only so long, right? Uh, it's a bit more complicated than that. But if you actually look at it, it's not that many notes here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten notes. So if you know those, you would be good to go. And also, if you then learn the sequence that I did here, so basically I did, we take three notes and we number them from left to right, one, two, three. Sequence that I do is one, three, two, one. And I do that in each set of three notes, just moving down in sort of a ladder fashion. So. So basically this is what I refer to as the Yngwie groups of four which I also have a course on if you want to really learn this to the, you know, so you can just play it whenever you want in both directions and all strings. But that's not the point of this video. Hopefully you can see how much easier it is to learn something if you know the scale and then you understand the sequence, right? So learning the scales is paramount, I think, for progressing quickly on the guitar. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck in tab hell, basically, where everything's just numbers and it's gonna be very hard to make sense of anything. Another example would be when you just started playing, maybe you heard something like... And if you tried learning that, you would be like, oh, what's this? Okay. And you would be like, what? You know, it's, you know, it's the eighth fret and then fifth fret and so on. Instead of just seeing that, oh, okay, it's this day one pentatonic position. And once you learn that, which most of us learn fairly early on, it's not that difficult to, to learn licks like this because you can relate it to a bigger pattern. It's kind of the, the same thing as uh, being able to look at a, a text and be able to read words right away instead of having to sit and read letters, right? So that's the same idea here. So when it comes to learning scales, I think you should do it in a few different ways. And I have a lot of videos on this that goes much deeper. Uh, I'm going to link to those in the description as well, so you can check those out. But basically, uh, I found two ways really works well in conjunction with each other. And that's, first of all, learning the scales on a single string, because it's much more logical for our ear to be able to you can see yourself going from left to right, like you would do on, on a piano. So the notes get higher as you go higher on, up on the neck, and then they get lower as you get lower on the neck. Uh, and that might seem, you know, obvious, but when you first start out and you start learning scales on, you know, using different strings and all that stuff, it, it's not as obvious because you can actually go from left to right uh, and go down in pitch, and you can go from right to left and go up in pitch. So if I, if I go from left to right and I basically do this, uh, Right? Now I went down an octave, even though I, you know, technically shifted up on the guitar, even doing something stupid like that, it's still a higher pitch here and a lower pitch here. And it sort of screws with our brain a little bit. And I noticed this when I was studying at GIT in Hollywood back in 95, because I bought a keyboard. Uh, and I started, you know, fooling around with just playing around, finding melodies. And I, I found that it was so much more intuitive for me to, to find the notes compared to the guitar. And that's when I really started to 
get into this concept of learning things on one string at a time. And this works for any scale. You can do it with a pentatonic, you can do it with, you know, just, you know, minor scale. Whatever scale you want to learn, learn on one string at a time first, and then if you really get it down in one string and keep it in one key initially, so just learn that one key really well. And it will start with something simple. I mean, one of the best things to do is just to learn the C major scale on all strings. Because if you do that, uh, you also learn the notes on the neck in a fairly logical manner instead of trying to sit like F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and so on. So that's a good start. And actually by learning the C major all over the neck, you also learned all the related modes, right? So we're not going to get into the modes in this video, but you get much more out of it than just one scale. And then once you've learned the scale on one string, and when it comes to these uh, diatonic scales, seven note scales, I highly suggest that you learn them in a three note per string fashion. Because that all these shapes overlap uh, like this, right? So if you compare that to the cage system, you have gaps in between. I'm not getting into a big debate of if cage is better or three notes per string is better, but I think three notes per string is better in this regard. Cage has its uses as well, but at the end of the day, you want to just see the neck uh, in different ways so you can just see the neck completely instead. Once you've done this enough, you're not going to think in cage or three notes per string or whatever. You're just going to be able to look at the neck and see the notes that you want. So if you had trouble with this before and you felt like whenever you try to learn something, it just feels illogical, try getting the basic scales down. Learn the pentatonic scales, learn the major scale, and like I said, you get all the related modes in that way as well. And then maybe harmonic minor, melodic minor. And if you got those, you, you're pretty much good for most music. And then you can just expand when you feel like you need to. Because so if you don't do that, you will always be stuck in this guitar bingo land. And that's a very frustrating land to be stuck in. And I've seen it in tons of students throughout the years. And it's such a light bulb when they start learning the scales and how much faster they progress.